Hello my dear children welcome to the learning station today we'll study class 4 evs chapter a busy month children this chapter deals with the information of birds their claws feet and beaks In this lesson we will learn about the birds their nesting habits and their characteristics Children birds are the most beautiful creatures on earth All birds have bodies covered with feathers Each bird has different kind of feathers that help it do different things There are three kinds of feathers flight feathers which help birds to fly they are found on the wings and tail body feathers body feathers are colored feathers which cover the body of the bird down feathers down feathers are soft and fluffy feathers found close to the body of the bird Let's see the pictures of some common birds: sparrow, sunbird, Indian robin, crow. Children, you can find and explore more pictures of birds. Why do birds make a nest? Birds make nest to lay eggs, to hatch eggs, and to protect the young ones. from the enemies Let's watch some examples of the bird's nest This is the picture of a tailor bird A tailor bird stitches two leaves with its sharp beak to make a nest and lay eggs on the fold of the leaf Some birds like sparrows and pigeons live close to humans They make their nest in any nook and corner of the house on the top of a cupboard behind a mirror on a ledge Pigeons often make nests in old and deserted buildings Which bird is this? This is a crow. A crow makes its nest on the top of the tree. Its nest is made up of wire, wood, threads, brass wires, aluminum, iron. This is a weaver bird. A weaver bird has a strong conical beak which it uses to cut blades of grass that will use in nest building. 
by tying knots the bird makes the nest more secure and its nest is woven with long strip of paddy leaves rough grasses and long strips torn from palm fronds usually the male birds weave the nest the weaver bird colonies may be found close to the water bodies one more thing the nest being suspended from thorny trees and overhanging water is protected from many predators Ducks often choose parts of a garden where the vegetation provides them enough cover in which to conceal the nest. While constructing her nest, a duck will line it with soft down feathers which she plucks from her own body. This gives the eggs the best possible cushioning and insulation. Ducklings are covered with down and they are able to walk and leave the nest just a few hours after hatching. Hatch means the process when the baby bird comes out from the egg. In this picture, you can see Indian robin and its nest. The nests are built between rocks, in holes in walls, or in a tree hollow. Eggs hatch in about 10 to 12 days, and chicks have black down, and both males and females feed the young ones. This is the quail. Quails do not build their own nest or incubate their own eggs. Instead, females lay their eggs in the nest of other birds, especially crows. Do you know children that quail sings very sweetly? Now, let's study about the bird's beak and claws. Beak helps the bird to pick their food and also to protect themselves from the enemies whereas claws help in catching holding and eating food they protect the birds from their enemies also and they help the birds in walking swimming climbing and perching now let's see some examples of the types of beaks in the first picture you can see the vulture. Vulture has hooked beak and this beak is used for tearing the rotting meat. In the second picture you can see an eagle. It has strong, sharp and hooked beak and this beak helps eagle to catch animals and flies. In the third picture you can see a kingfisher which has long scissors like beak and it is used to catch fish. The last bird you can see is hummingbird. It has straw like long slender beak. This shape helps it to suck nectar from flowers. These are the pictures of few birds with different type of beaks. Let's have a look. The birds are duck, girl, crossbill, nighthawk, avocet, woodpecker, parrot, flamingo, kiwi, spoonbee, pelican. Let's recapitulate the uses of beak. Beak of birds are used to tear the meat, to make holes in wood, 
to suck the nectar, to find worms in water, to break and crush the seeds. Now let's see the examples of feet and claws of birds. These are the feet of different birds to swim in water, to hold the tree branches, to climb the tree, to walk on land, to catch its prey. In this picture you can see the claws of eagle, hawk and vulture. Eagle, vulture and hawk they have sharp claws to catch their prey and pierce through their prey. And children, do you know that these sharp curved claws are called talons. T-A-L-O-N-S talons. Woodpeckers have two sharp claws pointing in each direction on their each foot to climb the tree and to hold on to the trees and their claws help them to hold the trees and balance while they tap on the tree trunk. There are few birds that cannot fly. Do you know children? Penguins. Penguins are flightless birds. They cannot fly. Kiwis. Kiwis are pear-shaped flightless birds with long legs and beak. Though they look to be covered in fur, kiwis actually have thin hair-like feathers. Find out some more examples of birds which do not fly. Children, bird migration is the regular seasonal journey done by many types of birds. Why do birds migrate? Birds migrate for food, change of habitat or because of extreme climate. Children, birds have many enemies. Human and other animals also have crows and squirrels, cats and rats, all of them wait for a chance to steal the eggs. So, to keep themselves safe from danger, to find food, to make a nest, hatch the eggs and raise the chicks safely, all these are the test for every bird, isn't it? I hope you all have understood the chapter. Thank you.